good morning to all my uh, dear students uh, i will be teaching biology in this uh, youtube channel of mine and the whole biology syllabus that is there from starting from the basic biology to all the human uh, body all the human organs as well as our the ecosystem our pollution and all we will be studying all those chapters here okay i will be taking you like uh, we have like our life starts from a single cell to how organ organ system forms so how we organism have come up whole everything to that extent okay so definitely the first chapter will be very known chapter for all of us that is cell okay cell whenever you, you hear the term cell the first thing that should come in your mind is that cell is the structural and the functional unit of life understand cell is the structural and the functional unit of life okay now before i go into cell i just want to explain you few important a very important thing like we organism our life starts from a single cell okay like this okay so from the cell tissue forms cell means suppose this is one cell what is tissue tissue means it is a bundle of cells like this okay many are there suppose we can say like this okay so it's a single cell so bunch or bundle of many cell forms a tissue from a tissue we will give uh, i mean organs come up okay organs you understand that like nose is an organ eye is an organ no many organs are there so organ taking many organs cluster of many organs is known as organ system what is it known as organ system and many organ system together makes an organism okay so this is how it is all about so it's like life starts from a single cell okay so from a single cell it's the tissue that comes like cell means or bundle of many tissue means or bundle of many cells after that organs come up organ means eye nose ear after that taking all this organ like we are organism we have eyes we have nose we have ears we have tongues to eat etc so taking all this together we will get the organ system and all these organ system together will give us the organism like we we individuals are what we are organism so this is how life life evolves from a cell tissue from tissue to organ organ system and then the individual organism so this is how our life evolves okay this is a single line not as easy as you see they have explained this in one line but this is this this organ we have to study sense organ and all together taking this we have to study organ system like nervous system circulatory system excretory system endocrine system so the what organ system is there but we when we individually we will be studying different organs then you will understand that this is like this is the most critical this is the most important part this is the part which we have to study what are the things that we have to study here we need to study here many chapters are there if you open a book any biology book you will get to know about this that we have to study about the organ system like first we have to study about the reproductive system understand the reproductive system second we have to study about the uh, endocrine system third nervous system and so on so these are separate chapters very important chapters which we have to study understand so this is how life have evolved okay and this is how our life actually evolves over time this is this is how everything goes on okay so this is whole biology that we have to study the human portion we are talking about like same way for plant also you have to study the reproduction system the everything you have to study for plants also same bilateral way plant and animal we have to study okay so today i am be talking about cell particularly cell after we complete cell then we will go for the other chapters so in this youtube channel we will be covering everything that is there which is important for your biology perspectives okay so have you copied this you can take a screenshot and then afterwards you can write or you will get this in all the books so first chapter very important 
interesting and let's start, start our journey with this chapter self okay whenever the term cell you hear just remember that it is a structural and a functional unit of life if you open your book you will understand this the chapter name of itself is that the structural and functional unit of life so whenever anybody asks you what is a cell just say it's a structural and the functional unit of life very normal definition when we will be when i will be teaching you the cell theory you will understand there are many other topics though cell is not a very difficult topic it's easy you can understand see cell is so small that you cannot see this with your naked eyes you need a microscope to see it. but when you will study about the cell you will see there are so many organelles in the cell so though the size of a cell is very small like when we uh, did this experiment about cell division in the lab the cell was so small but under the microscope we have seen the different phases of the cell so cell itself is very small but if you see uh, the organelles when i am teaching you like you will have the mitochondria lysosomes and all those organelles that are there so cell itself is so small that if anybody ask you can you see cell you will say no cell cannot be seen through our naked eyes we need a microscope to see a cell understand this the term cell was coined by robert hooke so if somebody says who have given you the term cell so this term cell was termed by robert hooke okay so cell and this uh, word cell has come from a latin word known as cella this is just an information no need just remember that the word cell has come from a uh, latin word cella okay and the word cell uh, i mean the term cell was coined by robert hooke understand the term cell was coined by robert hooke okay few important static facts that are important that you need to understand uh, i will give you few static portions okay which is important for you to know uh, first is longest cell largest or mitochondrial in the big large largest cell and the 